We all know and love the internet. It lets us do amazing things like search for and learn information, create and share cool content, and connect with one another no matter how far apart we live. But did you know there have been multiple versions of the internet? The internet you know and use today is the second version, and today we're on the brink of the third version. Let's do a quick review of each. Web 1.0 was all about reading information. The first version of the internet, or Web 1.0, was primarily used to store and search for information. It was like putting a whole library online and letting people type in keywords to find whatever information they wanted. The web pages were pretty basic, but Web 1.0 was truly groundbreaking because it gave people easy access to more information than they had ever had before. As more and more people got access to computers and started using the internet, the web evolved. It became more interactive and social, and we call this version Web 2.0. This is the internet you know and use today. Web 2.0 is all about reading information plus writing or sharing your own information. With Web 2.0, people can not only search for and find information, but they can also create things, interact with content, and connect with one another. As an example, anyone can go to TikTok or YouTube to post a video of themselves doing a cool new dance move. Other people can watch the video, like it, comment on it, or share it with friends. They can even create their own video doing the same dance move themselves. One other distinguishing factor of Web 2.0 is that it's largely owned and managed by big companies like Alphabet, which you might know as Google and YouTube, Meta, which used to be called Facebook and Twitter. These centralized companies fully own and manage their platforms. They each create rules about what can and cannot be on the platform, monitor activity, and collect data about its users. This gives the central companies a lot of power. Web 2.0 has been amazing, but we're now on the frontier of the next version, Web 3.0. Web 3.0 is all about owning your own information. We are in the very early stages of Web 3.0, so its exact users and distinguishing factors are still in the works, but there are a couple of really unique things about it. Unlike Web 1.0 and 2.0, where large companies own and manage websites, Web 3.0 is powered by the blockchain. So these online spaces and communities are completely decentralized. You'll learn more about blockchain in another video, but just know that it's not owned by any single person or group. It's open to everyone, and it lets everyone own their own data, money, and identity. Web 3.0 is changing the way we think about finance, gaming, the medical system, legal contracts, and even the way we organize companies and groups. The future of the digital world, Web 3, or the metaverse, is still evolving, but we do know it's exciting.